open the building which we run the analysis for the tall building this is the model we created already then go to the tables analysis and result then frame result click on the column forces and then arrange in a story one okay here we want only dead load cases then sort ascending okay these are the all the column c1 to c16 okay and then we have to know the column numbers here to display the column number and go to the view option and set view options and click on labels and click on apply okay here we see all the column numbers like c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 up to the c16 and now go to the structural uh, object and story one here click c1 here you get a uh, column sizes click on all the columns here you get all the details of the column sizes here two column sizes are there uh, 500 by 500 and 600 by uh, 600 Okay, now define a section properties. Go to section property and select uh, materials for the 500 by 500 that is M40 and HYSD uh, 500. Similar for both. Okay, now this is a problem statement we got from our uh, design problem okay this is a problem statement it is a footing size which is 18 by 18 and 2 meter extension from the either side this is how we have to find the uh, subgrade modulus and this is for the calculation for the design strip and now go to the safe software and set a is456 then add the cover and uh, repair options then set the grids that is 18 meter we have so grid line will be the 19 numbers in a both direction okay now set a 1 meter okay this is how we got a grid then go to the material define material m40 uh, concrete and all add the all the standard values for the m40 click on ok then add a hysd 500 bar then add its standard properties okay then go to the slab property add the slab property that is uh, for the mat footing which is m40 add the thickness 500 mm click on okay then you define the column property add a new column column one we have two column 500 by 500 first one add its sizes 500 by 500 click on ok then another column 600 by 600 and click on ok now add the soil property soil uh, we have 3 into 10 power 4 ok load cases check load then add the load combination for the ultimate load and also for the ok now add for the service ok click all the service option and click on ok Two load combination are added successfully this is how the we have to draw the slab okay so the slab has been drawn then go to edit we have extension of two meter on a either side for the all we got offset okay now add the draw the columns of 500 by 500 mm having a six meter apart Okay, look at all the columns of 500 by 500 mm at initial stage. Okay, then add a 600 by 600 columns at the center. Okay, then add a strips, column strips, which is having a 4 meters width. Draw all the strips in a layer A. Then in a layer B, 
add the strips four strips in y direction okay done now click on the footing area and add the soil property that is soil one then add a load on a column that is for a dead load 500 by 500 mm column then again add a live load which is having a 797.6 then in similar way add all the load for the 500 by 500 columns Here the 500 by 500 columns are C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C8, C9, C12, C13, 14, 15 and 16. Okay, done. Now we added all the load for 500 by 500 mm column. Then add a load on the central portions that is for the 600 by 600 mm columns at a dead load and live load in a similar fashion as we done for the 500 by 500 mm columns okay now we successfully added all the points load okay then we have to assign the rebar properties then click on a okay with our checking okay then okay now select our footing and add a rebar options and add a hy is defined it then click on a strips and add all the rebar properties Click on all the strips of layer A and layer B. Okay, done. Now run the analysis. Now run analysis and design. Okay, now click on the punching shear options. Okay, we are the shear option getting higher, then we revise. Once again, the thickness going to the material property, then again we are getting a punching shear higher. Then we added a thickness to 1200. Then again, run the analysis. Now we got a shear well, uh, punching shear value less than one. Okay, now view the option in 3D view, extruded option. Okay, this is the plan view again. Okay, now next part is to detail uh, to view the different load combinations. Okay. Uh, before that okay strip forces and all in a layer and layer a and b okay now get a impulse reinforcement okay now similar in the layer b for load combination a okay this is a crack width values for the top slab top and slab bottom these are the minor cracks and start detailing option. This is a detail link framing plan. Go to the framing plan. This is framing rebar table, bill of quantity, having all the length of the rebars with bar size. This is a slab uh, plans like rebar plan, top plans, rebar plans all for our bars. This is section at one. And this is section uh, reinforcement profile for the layer A. Thank you guys for watching.